In this video, we will study the pathological features of osteomyelitis. Now, based on morphology, we divide the osteomyelitis into two main categories that are acute osteomyelitis and chronic osteomyelitis. Acute osteomyelitis is the acute infection of bone and bone marrow, whereas, if this infection is not recovered and becomes chronic, we call it as chronic osteomyelitis. Now, in this video, we will be discussing the morphology of acute osteomyelitis, and then at the end, we will briefly see the additional features in chronic osteomyelitis. Now in the morphology of acute osteomyelitis, there are four main features that follow a sequence. Firstly, you know that whenever there is an acute infection, you will see acute inflammatory cells that are neutrophils. And you can see here in this bone, there is neutrophilic infiltration. And sometimes these infectious bacteria and the defending neutrophils also spread to the subperiosteal regions of the bone. And if this happens, it results in pus in the subperiosteal region, which is called periosteal abscess or subperiosteal abscess. So in the phase of acute inflammation, you see neutrophilic infiltrates in bone and you see subperiosteal abscess. Now during the destruction caused by bacteria and attacking neutrophils, a part of bone becomes dead and necrotic. This piece of dead and necrotic bone is called sequestrum. So what is sequestrum? Sequestrum is a dead piece of necrotic bone. Now after the acute inflammation phase is over, there is onset of chronic inflammation. And this chronic inflammation is characterized by chronic inflammatory cells that are lymphocytes and macrophages. And at last, when the infection is fully recovered, the process of repair starts. And in the process of repair, the osteoclasts degrade the infected bone. And in the place of this degraded infected bone, there is growth of fibrovascular tissue. And along with this, there is reactive formation of bone in the periphery of this fibrovascular tissue. So you can see here in this diagram that the central area is fibrovascular tissue and it is surrounded by reactive bone formation. So overall in acute osteomyelitis, firstly you see acute inflammation, then you see sequestrum which is a piece of necrotic bone, then you see chronic inflammatory cells that are lymphocytes and macrophages, and at last in the repair process you see central fibrovascular core surrounded by reactive bony formation. Now if this infection of bone and bone marrow persists for a very long period of time, then it is called chronic osteomyelitis. And in chronic osteomyelitis, there is only one difference that you need to remember. That in chronic osteomyelitis, the dead piece of necrotic bone or sequestrum persists. But surrounding the sequestrum, there is reactive bony formation just like this. And this reactive bony formation that surrounds the sequestrum is called involucrum. So what is involucrum? Involucrum is a reactive bony formation that surrounds the sequestrum in cases of chronic osteomyelitis. So these are the morphological features of acute and chronic osteomyelitis. Hope this concept is clear to you now.